all right we are back with some more American's truck simulator and this is cowboy hat bringing to you some more American outlaws we are currently in Phoenix right now at the Kenworth dealership nobody well there's a few people around but uh, not too many people um, just a spontaneous stream Nothing too crazy, uh, but if you want to uh, rock some miles, you want to join me, you're more than welcome to. So, uh, without further ado, let's get this cranking out. We, uh, we took our Peterbilt that we had and uh, freshened up the paint a little bit. So now we've got our uh, company colors, which is awesome. Let's go in here and fix up our truck, tractor. There we go. Throw some miles in. Throw some miles in anyway. Where we want to go. Oh, we got quite a few around us. That's all right. We're gonna we're gonna grab something. That's a big one. Do I want to do this one? I guess we'll jump on this one. It'll be a while, but... Alright. Oh, it's Mr. Philippe. Been a while since I've seen him out here. Wow. Hey there, Mr. Philippe. How's it going? Long time no see. Well, uh... Crank out to this, uh marker out here and get our load picked up can you change anything about it nope no changing you get what you get okay Oh, I guess I should have stayed the other direction, eh? Alright. We're gonna flip this around. Nice. Not exactly a perfect backup, but <clears throat> and we are. 
banner off. had some uh, bad connection with my uh, splitter so I uh, couldn't figure out for the longest time what was going on so I got this new game um, which I was just streaming a little bit ago uh, Need for Speed Carbon and uh, it was counteracting with all my controls at first so I uh, unplugged my steering wheel and my shifter and the splitter and uh, just before I got into American Truck I uh, plugged everything back in everything you know reconnected and stuff so I was having an issue with the splitter and so far so good it's not acting up so maybe just a fresh uh, reconnecting So this is a thousand four hundred and something mile run. This is going to be long haul for this one. But anybody out there wants to join up with me, uh, more than welcome to. Just out here putting some miles in. cruise on. We can rock out the cruise. I was trying to do uh, the green screen earlier and of course, I don't have no sheet or a blanket or, you know, this special green screen that they call for. So I was doing a couple different tests and uh, came across a video of um, somebody talking about uh, Chroma Cam. And after I all said and done, I was able to install it and stuff. And it worked out really well. Um, I was able to put a picture behind my camera, and, um, I kind of tweaked it a little bit so it was just me being seen and not anything else behind me. But then I noticed something. I was looking around on my OBS, and down on my, um, drop frames and live and recording and my CPU and, you know, all that stuff. I uh, I noticed over on my CPU that uh, it had jumped dramatically. I was hitting 23 point something of 
CPU usage just by downloading this little chroma cam thing. I'm like, well, that's not going to be good when I go to live because my stream already has a nasty delay, which I'm still trying to figure out the, the delay part. But I weren't about to run it that way and make the delay even worse. And uh, of course, no matter what little bit of um, tweaking of the settings within the program that I did, didn't seem to matter much. So uh, I unabled it. I put my cam back the way it was. And here I am. So at some point, I'll have to figure out a way to um, get a beautiful little screen behind me somehow and work out the green screen thing and all the textures and stuff. I have an idea. I have done tutorial details of it, how to do it for myself. You know, like I've watched the tutorial. Um, so I have an idea of how it works. So once I have something behind me, I'll be able to, you know, put it up and put the, um, green screen together and tweak the settings and make it all nice and pretty. So for now, you get to see all the lovely junk behind me. But otherwise, and all that, I uh, hope everybody else is having a good evening, a good day. It is uh, a little after 11 p.m. here, Eastern Standard Time. I uh, got a late start to the day, so. How's it going there, driver? So. Yeah. There's a there's still a bit of delay and I would I'm trying to figure out how to fix it. I might have to uh I don't know. I've come across a couple of delay tutorials of other people fixing their streams and uh, I have yet to find the right settings to make it work. There's a section in OBS of it's called advanced and you can go in there and enable or disable your stream delay. Uh, well I did try it I put it down to like seconds. Um, I started you off at. I have to trip there, brother. Roger that. Same to you. Um, what was I saying? Oh, uh, at default, they start you off with 20 seconds, and so I took it and I turned it way down to nothing. And I did some tw some pre-tests, and the stream had a way worse lag with it on than with it off. And I took and turned up the settings back to 20 seconds, and it was even more worse. Like, you literally counted out, like... I think I counted at least like 32 seconds before, you know, everything I was doing came to the stream. So, there's got to be something out there I can do or maybe a, at some point save up the money and get a much better computer. But, I mean, I'm satisfied with what I have in front of me. Some people say I'm too quiet, some say I'm too loud, and then, you know, I mean, I can see the delay in the stream myself when I'm watching it through my computer. I can see it, that there's, there's a, there's about a six second or so delay in between everything that I'm doing. So regardless if I move my hands and then I watch it on the stream, it's a few seconds before my hands, you know, my hands show up that I'm moving. 
it's not horribly delayed but enough to tell that what I'm doing you're not seeing it until after Take care, cowboy. You too there, lady. Lady X? I think that's what it said. I'm sure there was more to it than this Lady X. Once uh, Mama T gets her leg feeling better, she'll be back on here pumping out some miles. American Outlaws, we are still hiring. Look us up on trucksbook.eu. Uh, all the links are in the description of the video. Like and subscribe and share. That'd be very much appreciated. For anybody that's new, or even someone that has come across the same old videos, you know, hey, my buddy's uh, streaming. Go, you know, check him out. That kind of thing, you know? Not a whole lot going on tonight. Welcome to the stream. Whoever's in there. I gotta uh, trim up my beard a little bit. It's getting a bit. Long underneath in spots. Awesome. I bet that was a fun adventure. I figured they were. They normally do. Got me a got a pounder with extra cheese and bacon. No, no, no bacon. No bacon. <laughs> you don't want no pork? Wink wink. <laughs> I got a fish fillet somewhere in there. There you go. There it is. You found it. Go home and make dinner. Yep. You better not ruin my keyboard, man. I stuff it up your ass. <laughs> hey, hey, how's it going out there? <laughs> now you're eating.
That was all her fault. She said she don't need no food. She can go back home and make dinner. <laughs> you say you're sending down a taxi to get your other food. Is it even on the receipt? I love you. Uh, well, if you didn't have sex on the brain, you'd be all right. Pardon my French, everybody. Sorry. This channel is not made for children, just so you know. The games might be made for children, but the channel's not. We are grown as adults around here and we talk English. Not no Spaniel, no Ashkinyo, no Shikabashaja. Who oh, this guy? Hey, he's going. Yo, what's going on, truckers? Oh, no wonder why you're not understanding my language. You don't even speak it. You're from... You're from the other side world of Mexico. Yeah, 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 You gotta shift her down. You gotta shift her down. She's getting a little heavy. Gotta skip a stroke. Simpson, Simpson, Simpson? Simon, 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 Simon. Why go anywhere else? You got all the comedy you need right here. Just come to my channel! Whoa! Almost went off the road. Who oh, this coming? Quads? Oh, he's sat in the road. Yo, Quads, what's up, man? Yeah, my name is Squats. I do squats. Gonna come back in two minutes and then they're gonna get a D bag. Smack it with it. <laughs> Smack it with a D bag. You bloody bastard. <laughs> hey, T Dog, what's going on? Where are you going? 
Uh, we are going to the Kenworth Trucks in Seattle. The port. Oh, the, the port of Seattle in Seattle. With the trucks. Yep, with these beautiful trucks. Aren't they beautiful? Aren't they so beautiful? Oh, yeah, they so pretty. They all yellow. So far, they don't have you haul different color trucks. It's all just like the same, you know. But yeah, they're so beautiful. They're so lovely. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Holy crap! I just picked up 11 trucks out of, uh, out of the video. It's a truck stop! Yo, yo, what's going on? How's everybody? Alright, let's get rolling, boys. Doing good, doing good. Give me uh, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, please, 30 seconds. Alrighty, uh, roger that. Whoa, everyone, are we staying on the five? Hey there, convoy, how's it going? We're gonna honk our horn. We're going to Seattle. Yes. Seattle, Port of Seattle is where we're going to drop off these guys. So, yeah, Seattle. OMG, meet you there. Okay, you can come meet me. Yo, driver, you're in the middle of the road. You blocking? You okay? You rag out? Okay. La 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 I've got 970 miles to go And then I'd be there They want me to pull in the station, but I said no, I just keep on going How's that song go? No, uh, sweet hammer down. No, there's a there's a trucking song. What's that trucking song? Um, eastbound and down. I got it. Way to go. Time to get there. And then it run. Yeah. That's great. That's the bandit song. Just be yo, I'm live. You live, I'm me live too. You live, I live too. You lie, I lie. I lie too, yeah, I know. You see me, I see you. I can't see you. I see your name though. Thanks for stopping by, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, I'll come across and see your stuff. No problem. Yeah, me come across, I see your stuff. I give you some likes, some loving. Yo, come check this boy out. He's awesome. You know all that good stuff. Share it with the good people. So, you know. T Dog is getting online. Yeah, buddy. I got a long way to go, it's coming from my old place. How's it going, trucker? 
Bovo Steam. Valval Steam, Valval Steam. Austin. Houston, we got a problem. Who that? Don't know who that. New James. Yo, New James, what's going on, man? Welcome to the American Truck Simulator. One of these times I come back with, shut the flack up, man. Get off the road. <laughs> but that's okay. Boo boo boo. It's so cool being you. It's so sassy being me. So out of a blue, out of the blue question, your the the your 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 wonderful little mobile game that you have that you play. What's your name on there? Or have I ever asked you that question? Uh, the what? Siren's Fury. Siren's Fury. Okay. <laughs> is that just something you randomly came up with, or is that you get that from something? Oh no! I crashed. <laughs> Put my four ways beacons on. Oh my god, I just crashed into the barrier, man. That's not good. That's uh, not good. Oh my god. Oh my god, I just crashed. I crashed my sheet. I bounced off the guardrails. God dang pieces of junk. Sorry, 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 don't mind me. I just crashed into the guardrails and I bounced. Me trying to get back on the road. I'd be all right. You know, I want to beat back. He an idiot. <laughs> I crashed. I crashed and burned. Really bad. <laughs> Nobody. Uh, I'll be meeting up with T Dog here soon. At some point. So, nobody yet. So much fun! It's like a real life truck! Oh. As I go off the road. Slow down. There you go. I drive like the big boys. <laughs> so if you don't get in trouble in here, well, unless you disobey truckers MP, then they then they give you hell. But there's no cops, no game wardens. You don't go fishing, huh? You just drive. Just drive all over the place, all over the map, from one end to the other. You got you got the uh, CB radio, so you can talk to other people in the game. Oh 
American Truck Simulator. It's all over YouTube. Just type it in. You'll find it. Seattle. With Kenworth Truck. Well, if you have a if you have a VTC virtual trucking company on what they call the uh, virtual trucking book, like if you're driving real life, you write all your miles and stuff down. This is you know it comes through as you type, you click which game, uh, not game, load you have, and once you get to where you're going, you deliver it, and it shows up on your logs every load you have, and within that program uh, you have real time miles or you have race miles which if you go over a certain amount of speed it's race miles but if you're underneath that speed you get real time miles so it's not it's like you're speeding but you're not speeding yeah there's a lot of people on here lots I had uh, I had cowboy trucking on here for almost three years until I brought the wrong people in to my little crew and people didn't like how things were and they gave me holy hell and yeah I'm like okay flop you and I'm out of here shut the crap down and went somewhere else. And of course you have a. You have a, a Discord, which is your gaming chat, so you can talk to like who, your immediate people that you hang out with or talk to. And you got your CB, so you talk to the whoever is in the game. It's like real life. Yeah. You just crashed, and it messes up your truck, and you gotta fix it. Or you. You can do uh, F7 and go to the garage and it, you can fix your truck and, yeah. Or if you're really great, if you're really great, you can do one of these numbers and type in uh, a special co uh, command and you can fix your truck before you smash, you know. Then it doesn't cost you anything. I'm not sure what kind of games you're into, but, or you don't play games at all. Yeah. You grew up. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm using her computer. Just just leveling her up. That's my that's really my side. Well, well, uh, I guess that that, that really depends because um, if you if you had a Microsoft account or um, like your Microsoft uh, cloud, as some call it. All your stuff is backed up. So if you go from Xbox or, you know, PC 3 or whatever, as long as you log your stuff into your account, it's all basically sync. It's all basically sync now. So when you, if you have your account, you sign into your account, and then whatever you have, like, I don't know if you've ever heard of Fortnite, but um, I started, I started playing Fortnite on the Xbox. Going on the computer, I could set up an account and do it all fresh but I didn't want to I wanted to bring my account from there to here so when I go to 
my account, I click on Xbox, and it syncs from what I have on the Xbox to the PC, and I just continue playing with what I started with. But I also have a flash drive, which is so many gigabytes. So I take and save all my crap to it. So like, if I want to overcopy, I take out the old and put in the new, whatever I'm doing. So if anything were to happen to the computer, I got everything backed up anyway. Yeah, well, good thing we did have some of your files backed up. Yeah, otherwise you would have been really up shit creek without a paddle. Yay, yay. <laughs> FTG. Hey there, driver. You have a good one. Thank much obliged. Of course, you're too far away to say anything now. Yep. Now, this this game came from more like inspiration. I was uh, thinking of becoming a truck driver. Of course, it's uh, about fifteen hundred dollars to uh, do the class. Hey there, uh, northbound driver. Safe travels to you. Keep the shiny side up and your uh, hockey stick on the ice, brother. Yes, yeah, sir, Roger that. Thank you very much. And do the same. Um, so with all that pretty much basic stuff said, you know, money-wise and everything else and going to the classes and stuff, <clears throat> I uh, went through all the basic steps to find out everything I needed to do, what I had to do, and whatever not. And uh, the only one in my family that... Um, had a CDL was my uncle and he kept telling me well there's too much to read too much a hassle and they change rules all the time all this stuff I'm like well that's his opinion you know so I did a little bit of digging for myself and got in touch with some guy out of Rockingham Vermont and he owns the company himself and he trains the drivers himself which is great and he's like, oh, well, I'll try to do this much, I'll try to do that much. So, of course, I explained to him about my my, my mental issue, you know, with uh, learning and comprehending stuff. And he's like, oh, well, you know, you got medicine for that. I said, yeah, I got medicine for it, um, but it helps me. And he's like, well, well, uh, you know there's a drug test thing, right? I said, yeah. He goes, well, I'll, I'll charge you the money for the drug test, see if it comes back negative or not. Okay. Well, I never got around to even saving the money out to do the drug test. Um, you know, other things came up. I had to pay for other stuff, and I weren't ever really able to get the money. So my ex, my, my ex and I was walking through Walmart one, one day, <clears throat> and I was like, man, what kind of games out there could I get myself into just to, you know, play? So I came across American Truck, and I'm like, that's really cool. Just the, you know, the feel of the truck and how to drive the truck and, you know, get that realism behind my mentality of, you know, what it could feel like to, you know, drive a truck. So I got the game. Um, I played it on her laptop for the longest time. And, uh, of course, you know, the relationship went sour, whatever, and stuff. So I was able to save it on a flash drive I had. And um, then, of course, Tiana and I got together and whatever. And I brought it over here and started off on her grandmother's, uh, her mom's laptop and continued on playing. And it pretty much just turned into a game. Like, it turned into a legit game. It didn't continue on what, what I was pursuing so
How's it going? Hey Panda, what's going on? No good when you give up. No good when I give up. Yeah. I know. I was very well uh, inspired by the, you know the game, so it's where I uh, where I was hoping to get to, and just uh, just didn't work out that way. Money wise, financially, all that stuff. So maybe someday I'll. Try again. All right, fuel station is up here. That's not a fuel station, that's a garage. That's okay. Oh, this is going to be fun, eh? Probably should have dropped the trucks down on the side of the road. Fill this up. Yeah, this is gonna be kind of fun. We're gonna have to swing it. Swing it, swing it, swing it. I don't think I'm gonna get it around the back. I'll end up getting stuck. In Discord, he says. Okay. Give me a second. Hello. Yo, what's up? Hey, what is good? Uh, awesomeness. Awesomeness. Oh uh, yeah, awesomeness. Great. Because there's an awesomeness. What else is there? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm in here now, and. I've got to figure out a way to get out of here. We're going to try and bring this load through the garage. Going to attempt to bring it through the garage. I didn't think ahead of time in uh So this is gonna be fun. Ah, oh, 
you get that load in yet? I'm uh gonna try and get it through the garage here if I can. You need me to do it for ya. No, I managed it. I managed it. Woo! I managed it. Okay. Now we're gonna get back on the road. Yeah, just a little bit of delay in stream. Yeah, I know. I I'm will eventually. That. What's that? I'm gonna have to help you out with that. Yeah, that'd be great. I uh, I've watched a few videos on how to do it, but have yet to fix the issue. So, I'm sure it's somewhere. Something I got turned up too much or down too much or whatever. You and the ghost you. You and the ghost you? <laughs> yeah, you have to. Yeah. Got 500, 590 miles, and we'll be there. Good. The game just froze up anyway, so... Beautiful, huh? You got too much. You got too much running. Yep, I got closed out a couple programs. Well, leave that X-rated stuff alone, and you'll be all right. <laughs> oh, you're talking about my midget clown point. I yeah. can't. It's just too good. <laughs> That's great. Nah, I used to do it to my sister all the time. She'd be like, hey, can, this thing is running slow. Can you clean it out? And have like a whole bunch of viruses. So I'd always tell her, oh, you gotta stop watching that midget clown porn. Yeah. <laughs> this year. You said about 500 miles away? Uh, 540 miles. Alright. I'll be here waiting. Yeah, I got a ways to go. <laughs> Slow back. Just, just, just a little bit of a sprint away. Coming up on Hornbrook right now. Okay.
this shit here. Just pass through Hornbrook uh, on the five. Are you running to go external or internal market? I'm running freight right now. Doesn't matter. No, I'm just, I'm just looking at what there is. Oh, okay. There we go. Could do two large tubes. The external contracts normally you can uh, get the same loads. Let me see what we got for external. Ah, you want to go? Okay. So I'm picking a load to go to Roswell. Okay. All right. We double trail. Like lumber. So I'll wait for you. I got like 15 hours to get it done, so I'll wait here for you. Yep, we can do that load together and then uh, I'll have to call it a stream. You know, I hear you. I'm probably calling after that myself. This is how you put the rubber on the banana. And then this is how you eat it. <laughs> yeah, sounds like you're eating something else there. <laughs> I didn't know. I forgot you were listening. Oh, shit. <laughs> like that, huh? T Dog. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that, that, that conversation with the stepdaughter was uh, pretty interesting, too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was not about to go into a quote-unquote an adult conversation with what she was talking about. Nope. That's all her mother's job, not mine. <laughs> not going there. No touchy? No touch in that conversation. Nope. Glacy Punk? Okay, sure. Hey, is it going? No? Okay. No conversation from that trucker. What? Nobody want to talk to you? I guess not. They just went right by. Oh, well. Uh, some don't have mics, man. They're not as rich as us. <laughs> <laughs> well, god damn it. And, they got to get some. Take, like, you know, five bucks. Go to the dollar store, not even dollar store, but anyway, take like five bucks 
can go get a pair of freaking iPod or some kind of wired. Yeah. Just get headphones with the mic. Don't you need earphones or the hell you want? Three hundred and sixty miles. Hi. Howdy. Do I have credit card debt? Me not have no debt. Are you trying to speak Russian again? No, my friend's trying to speak English and Espanol at the same time. Are you sure? Yeah, he, he's trying to speak us something over here. He's Irish. You is. You was? You is, you came along. The great state of Mississippi. The great state of <laughs> Mississippi. I have some special friends over here. Hi, Edmonton. How's it going? Mario 2MX. Well, he picked up, he attempted to pick up his microphone, but he didn't say nothing. Really? Yep. Yeah. He went. Yeah, that's all it was. He attempted to say hi, but didn't say hi. Now I got my load, now I got to find my way back to Seattle. 270 miles, I'll be there. I right, made me at the repair shop. I can't think closer every mile. Eugene. I'm passing through Eugene right now. It's naked cartoons! Oh my god! I, I might get a pounder!
Yeehaw. A little bit of excitement there. The other thing I was thinking too, um, I did the same thing for Mama T on her stream. I uh, I uninstalled both Streamlabs and OBS. Refreshed the computer, went back in, reinstalled everything, and I did the auto config wizard. Went by everything that it you know thought that the system had. And then her stream seems to be better than what it was when we when I had set it up myself. So maybe that's something I could do with my side. Coming through Salem. Hundred and sixty miles. All right, I'm here, waiting. All right. Waiting for your slow ass. I know. 
Alright, soon I'll be the same way. Stuck in an external contract. I'll be dragging my ass all the way down the highway. Lug nut. Mm. Hey there, lug nut. What's going on, sir? Well, he responded. Hey, what's going on? Are those supposed to be what I think they're supposed to be? Yes. Oh, okay. Got a uh, hundred miles. Hey, is it going there, trucker? A hundred and ten miles left. Did I hear that correctly? Got a hundred, hundred miles. You bound trucking mowers. Oh god. Getting there slowly. Uh huh. Slowly or slowly, fastly, or fastly, slowly. Right. <laughs> Best. Yakima. Ever. Yakima exit. 90 miles. Eighty miles. I got one thousand eight hundred and eighty seven miles. To it's go. Four hours. Yeah. To go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going clear the other side of the map, man. I'm gonna do a long haul, I'm gonna do a long haul, you know? Right. Which is a long, large, heavy load. That'd be awesome, but I'll stick with the two trailer. We'll find something. Sixty. Fifty miles. Fifty 
40 miles. Tacoma. And we got 30 miles. Actually, that's a better one. I'm swapping loads. No? Hold on, give me a minute. Yeah, swapping loads. The coma derives from. Hello, hello, truckers. Hello, how's it going? Uh, when you drop off your load, I'm gonna go over to Tacoma because they got a heavy load over there. I can haul. Um, I'm gonna go from there. See how far of a load you can get. All right, I'm just getting into town now. Yeah, I can see your little mic. Yo, so I actually wondered, how did you make yours so big? Your where it tells you what kind of or what people are in there, because mine are so tiny. The hell did you make it that large? What are you talking about? When you press, all right, hold on. When you press tab, when it brings up all the people around you. No, oh, your uh, your radar. Yeah. Yeah, how the hell did you make yours so big? Mm. I mean, compared to yours, I just got a widow guy. Don't know. I really don't know. Weird. I guess it likes you. Hey, look, there you are. All the way on the other side. Oh, don't forget to uh, add your player tag in. About, uh, do what? I said don't forget to put your gamer tag, player tag. Should already be there. Nope. All right, so we're going to Roswell. All right, well, I'm going to Tuscan to uh, pick up my load. I'll be right back. My guy might be tired, so I think I'm going to uh, jump back in here and go to the uh, repair shop and see if I can't yeah, freshen I myself. Freshen myself. I don't know. I turned that stuff off, man. Oh, yeah. My fatigue is off, but if, you're, if your character is tired and you go to get loads... You, and if you can't see any of your um, community loads, like any of your your list of loads, um, either your character needs sleep because your fatigue is off, 
or you've got to refresh yourself, which you bring yourself to the repair shop. So I'm currently now over at the Kenworth dealership. All right, so we are now going to. I literally have to go around your whole yard just to get back out. <laughs> what a pain in my ass. Uh huh. Well, this is a bummer. Ow! I have nothing for. Nothing for. I have New nothing. Max? New Max, I have nothing for New Max. Uh, you could go somewhere close, stop there, and then pick up whatever you lo load you can until, you know, you go where I'm going. Oh, I just refreshed it. Now I got something. Uh, I got, uh, I got Rat Tone. I got Rat Tone. That's a big one. That's 1,800 miles. You know, this might be easier. All right. I got uh, three minutes to go get it. Where am I going? Oh, there next door. Go there on. you go. Go next door. Good job, little buddy. Do you uh, do you remember how to do your player tag? No, I'm guessing not. no. All right. Fix that later. That's actually really easy. Oh, I just drove right by. Yeah, because I didn't have one of the loads I couldn't pull in. So literally, I pretty much had to spawn in my garage to get out of that area. Oh, I'm going to a scrapyard. Okay. All right then. You sure. Oh hell! I got a great joint in Tuscan, and this is where my load is. Be quicker and driving thirty-five. You can come over to Tuscan, meet me there. Tuscan. Where is Tuscan? It's right next door. It's like 32 miles. Tuscan. It's just like literally right next door. Lower bottom. Next, it's the next day, just lower bottom. Tacoma. Yeah, or yeah, Tacoma, my bad. Blah. <laughs> Shut up. Don't pick on me. 
<laughs> uh, Alright. Where are you? Uh, I just spawned in my garage. Oh, okay. Um... Well, I have my load, and it's taking me the opposite direction. Uh, hold on. I'm 34 miles away from my load. It's taking me uh, the 90. All right. Well, I can come down to you. Oh, all right, give me a minute. I just don't know where to meet you at. Well, let's see. I can come down through Tacoma, go down to five, jump through Vancouver, back to the normal route that it's taken me. Or I can, um, All right, hold on, dude. Uh, I'm going to have to turn you up in Discord. Because literally I'm driving down the road and I hear just something. All I can hear is a little bit of everything. There you go, get some. Yeah, I get the mic in my mouth pretty much. Oh, you know, I could just turn you up in Discord too. But what else? All right. So, are you coming to me, or am I going coming down to you? Hold on, I'm at my load right now. Give me a sec. Okay. I think we're going to take the planned route as well. Except for we're not going to go down that ziggity zaggity road, which is a 395. I think we're going to go down. Oh, why not? No, no. feel like being tested. Obstacle no. course style? No, not tonight. Uh, we'll go through Ontario. Go that way. So. We'll click it there. Uh, Salt Lake City. Oh boy, this is going to be fun. Oh yeah. Sure is. Um, hold on, give me a sec. Is that really how they want me to go? Alright, so they got me from Seattle, going to 90, and then hitting the 82, which brings you through Yakima, and then continuing on the 82 through Pendleton. Uh, 84... Um, well, it was taking me down to 385, 395. Oh, good lord. They park it in the most... About two feet away from the fence, and it's as long as the Empire State Building. No, it's about... It's longer than a 55, though. With double, tr like, triple hitch, actually. And they freaking <sighs> park it within two feet of the gate. <laughs> it's like, thanks, assholes. <laughs> I 
Yeah, at least he's better looking, though. Yes, Who, me? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, not you, T-Dog. <laughs> oh, are you saying I'm ugly? I don't know. I haven't seen a picture of you, so I don't know. Oh, trust me. You don't want to. Just the pure essence of my beautifulness has so much light, it would blind you. <laughs> Your beautifulness, yeah. Yeah, but he's not redneck, though. Dave is redneck. Who? Oh, my wife's friend's brother is... Sleeping on our bed. Oh shit! Yeah, he's oh. a he's over there. I was gonna say, hopefully he's by himself. Well, we all have clothes on, so. Okay, for now. For now, yeah, for now. A pack oh of cigarettes. God, how the hell did I make that turn? Skill, bruh. Just all skill. No, honestly, I wish we could. I wish we could own a low boy, dude. We'd be able to do these freaking hauls ourselves, the heavy loads, dude. Right. No, we're starting to come out with stuff now. It should have been in it, you know, like 900 years ago. Finally, though. Alright, where are you now? I'm still here at the scrapyard. Up in Seattle? Yeah. Right. Uh, I don't know which one's the scrappy art. Hey oh, the same place where you were. Hi, how's it going? Or else talk to you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hold on a second. Jello. What? <laughs> no, let's go. Hello? Nobody's talking. Nobody's talking. Hello. Maybe it's just you. <laughs> Did you hear her talking? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I heard her. Oh, okay. I'm like, wow, he's got a damn good impression there. <laughs> Wow. Gotta love our families, huh? Huh? Yeah. Well, depends. It all depends, big boy. Oh, whoa, whoa. Come on, big boy. You can do it. Have a good night. Okay, have your juice. <laughs> but daddy, I don't want it.
Alright, so I have left, and I'm going to, um... Hmm. Hi, Beth. I don't know. I'm almost to Seattle right now. Okay. Well, I'm on the 5. I'm jumping on the east of the 90. Going towards Spokane. Spokane, yeah. Let me pull you up on GPS. Ten and ninety. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm taking off the 405, which will split into the 90. Somewhere around Winchesi, if you want to meet me there. Because ours don't intersect until maybe like 50 miles before that, maybe even that. Okay. Uh, mine's going the 90 through Winnemucky. Yep. Uh, yeah, alright, let's meet there. Meet in Winnemucca? Yep. Uh, what do you want to do? The truck our stop? Two highways will mar merge, otherwise, I gotta spend like an extra 10 minutes trying to go around. Alright, so I'll go right through Winnemucca. Have a good night, man. Have fun. Don't have too much fun. Alright, so. On my way through Winnemucca, I'll just pull off somewhere. Okay. Oh, I get a long night because I am wide awake. Of course, that's what happens when you sleep half the day away. There it is. It'll be pretty much daylight by the time I go to sleep. Eh, I've had those kinds of times. And it's a good thing the way it doesn't have to work tomorrow, so... It's whatever. I'll get to bed when I get to bed, but... Once I get this one done, yeah. I'll I'll be getting off anyways. Watch some TV and spend time with her and whatever. So there you go. Right. The BF and the brother and all of them have left. They came over for a little while for their birthday and had a couple of drinks and watched some TV and yeah. So are uh, you on keyboard, on a controller, wheel, steering wheel? Who, me? Yeah. Oh no. Steering wheel, H shifter, uh, paddles, pretty much the whole entire thing. Oh, okay. So the same thing I have. You got the splitter or are you just shifting? Um, what do you I got? Mean, like? Is an eight shift. Yeah, I know that, but I didn't know if you had the splitter to split the high and lows, or if you're just shifting up through gears. Well, you shift up through gears all the way up to, I think it's like 14, and then you hit the button to shift up, and it takes you up, you know, plus up. So you have, oh, okay. I have the, I have the um, G920 Logitech shifter. But I have uh, the Lazy uh, Frosty. It's got uh, three clicks up and down. 
One's mm. forward, and then two's up and down. Oh, true. Nice. I mean, it works. It splits my up and low, my high and low, and it makes me so I can shift in between my high and low gears. So you must have the big shifter, the big, big knob yep. shifter. Yeah. So you must have the buttons in front of you when you, if you were to stretch your fingers out, you get the buttons. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit more, a little bit more realistic. Yeah. Just you can say. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Oh no, my phone's gonna die. Oh well, I'll charge it after. Come on, stop bogging down, baby. Mine, I got mine uh, clamped right to my uh, computer desk. You said your fan's raping your computer desk? Yeah, that's exactly what I said. You know, that sounds about right for you. <laughs> Well, some some shifters you can build them up so they're on the floor, you know. So it really has that realistic feel to your shifting yeah, the big the shifter. Stick, yeah. But my my little Logitech is is clamped right to the uh, the the desk itself. Brilliant. Oh, he about to jack. I swear he was. He was all on the side. <laughs> hey, is it going? How's it going? How's it going? Man, we good. We good, brother. Yeah, keep it popping and keep the load locking. And a happy mother flickin' New Year. <laughs> yep, after I do this run, I'll have to call it a night. And I've done a few hours of stream today. I've got an hour and 50 minutes on this stream as it is. Exit for Yukum Yukikika Yukik Yukiyakima. Yeah. Yep. That's 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 epically perfect name. Yeah. Yukiyakiyakiyakiyakiyakiyakiyakiyakiyakiyakiyakiyakiyakiyakiyakiyakiyakiyakiyakiyakiyakiyakiyakiyakiyakiyakiyakiyakiyakiyakiyakiyaki
I'm hoping I can get myself turned around before anybody else comes, but we'll see. Yeah, yeah. Come on, I gotta be getting freaking close by now. Almost. I'd say another like 20 more miles maybe. Not something I like to do here, but I'm going to do it, because if I don't, I'm going to be way off my grid. What do you think? There we go. Now I'm good. Alright, now we're coming through town. Alright, I'm about one mile away. Alright, I am on the main drag of Yukima. I'm gonna pull over right, right in front of the car dealership. Actually, you know what? No, I'll go down here a little bit more. So I'm off the road. So it's kind of a, like a discount store I'm in front of. I mean, you'll see me anyway, but at least I'm out in the middle of the road. Yeah, I'll be over in a bit. I'm gonna try and Everywhere? get this. Oh, I'm talking to the wife. Gotcha. Don't worry. I won't tell anybody you're losing it if you don't. <laughs> Okay, you're within my radar range. I see you. Well, I don't see you yet, but... I got dinner to eat, too. Yeah, I skipped the gear, sort of stalled myself out. I'm passing by. Okay. Oh, uh, this is going to be tricky as hell. It's not like you where you can do a simple turn. Mine is three pin. Shit.
Alright, hey, I'm coming in the city now. Area. Hey, you said car dealership? Yeah. Wrong turn. Not good. I see you, but you're the wrong direction. Yeah, I know. But this is the only way I can go now. My trailer's way too long to turn around on this road. It's all good. So, looks like I'm going this way. We'll follow up behind me. We'll head out. Alright. Hold up a minute. Luckily, we're the only ones here. So we can hold on a few sucks if we want on the side of the road. Going straight out this way, just straight. Yep. I'm over at the uh, truck stop. I'll grab some fuel. Uh, there gas. Yes, there's gas in there. Sweet. her out. Come on. Come on, nobody. That's a big load. Yeah. Just got a fat ass, man. <laughs>
I already came this way. <laughs> uh, what you cackling? I said I already came this way. Yeah. You just glitched really bad. Really? Glad I wasn't behind you at that second, because that would have hurt. Uh, what, having a trailer through your face? Uh, yeah. yeah. Generally. Come on, big boy. If you could pass me, pass me. <laughs> Did you say Fria, cool, uh, how's it going? What truck is this? This is a Peterbilt. It's the Peterbilt. A little bit. It's the Peterbilt. What's that? Yeah, you're glitching a little bit, but... Yeah, I'm sure I am. Nice. Yeah. I've seen a hell of a word. Come on, you go past me here? <laughs> nope. <laughs> We're sending like straight daddy equal. Ish, ask around. Oh, my phone just died. Nice. Yep. Well, at least we both have heavy loads. Yeah. I think mine just probably pays out better. I'd imagine. Oh, I'm sure. No, I just like heavy loads in general because they put your truck to the test. That's simple. Easy. It puts the gas to know how much it sucks out on top of how much stress it puts out on your truck versus how much you have to repair from being torn up even if you shift right it's just the heavy load itself right
Oh, this is a nasty turn. Hopefully we don't mash up. Oh, we probably will. At these speeds, they're pretty pliable. <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> snap, crack on pop. How do you like that? <laughs> Oh, that was great. A lot of fun right there. Hey, I gave you an offer for a lot of miles. You didn't take it, so I figured I'd keep my place. <laughs> Near the mountain, baby. <laughs> That's all good. Oh, I was doing the freaking 45 crap. I hate that. Yeah, man. Whoa, where the hell did you go? Where'd I go? You crashed into me with your trailer, and I got stuck. What? Uh huh. I'm not even showing you're anywhere near me right now. No, I I'm sure you huh. just you just went zoom right, kept going. <laughs> uh, okay, now you just brought up on my radar. I don't know, it didn't sag any damage, so that was just uh, visual effects on your end then. Oh, I got half a truck, half a truck that I had to fix. Where are you sitting right now? Right here behind you. Ah, son. Okay, yeah, we definitely have two different views. Uh, the only problem with that is now I'm stuck. Now you're stuck? Yeah. I'm pulled over to let you catch up because you're out on that radar and I ended up cutting too close to the guardrail. It's all right. I'll hop over to the uh, the garage and repair up there. You know right, dude. Well, if you got contract, you'll lose your load. Oh shit! That's right. I have to go back and pick it up. But I won't be able to because I'm too far away. Well, yep, just lost that load, I guess. Oh, it doesn't matter. I mean, I wasn't gonna get off there anyway. To show you any form. Well, that sucks. Yep. It only happens with contracts, too. That's why I hate doing contracts. But the other half didn't have nothing. Literally nothing going that far down. Alright, where's the nearest? I'm sitting in the next town over. Suck that, lost my long load, but fuck it. This is what it is. Next town over? So you're not in Pendleton? No. So you're in Kennewick? Or. Mm. The Dallas? Go the other way. Other way. Okay, so you're in Ontario? Starts with a T. T. 
No, no, never mind. It popped me back here. Okay. Yeah, Pendleton. Should be. You should have been to, in Pendleton. Yeah, I'm here. Pulling out of the repair shop now. I'm going to pick up my load. It's like three miles away. So it's still within city limits. So you're going to HMS, Steel, Steeler, uh, Mill Shop, or Vision Motors, or no, well, we're too close. So Vision Motors, oh, I HMS. I am headed to Motors. You know the big V. Yep, Vision Motors. Yep. Okay. Yep. I'm close to it showing. Yeah, you froze. Oh, there you go. Well, from there, I'm thinking it's going to take you, you're going to go back out left, and then you're going to hit the interstate and take the loop and come back up behind me. At least that's what I'm thinking. I'm going to put my four ways on just in case. And turn my truck off. There you go. Don't waste that valuable gas, man. I'm at dealership. I hate how they put these trailers. So shitty. Half an inch away from the fence. It's a 45 foot trailer, you can't quite do that close that easily. Alright, you here at the motors? No, I'm on the highway still. I'm chilling out at I'm chilling out on the highway. I'm up here on the 84. Um uh, you got caught back there on the bridge and I came down. I'm just before the exit. Uh, if I take the exit, I'm either going to go to the repair shop or I'll end up going down to 395. So. It's either going to have you... I'm guessing either go left or go right once you come off the road. I'll keep you informed. Just heading out dealership right now. Yeah, the Vision Motors. I see you. But when you get to the end of that road, they're either going to take you right or take you left. I'm thinking left, but... 
You never know with these kooky writers. Yeah, left. Yeah. So left, and then they're going to bring you all the way down over the interstate bridge, and then they're going to have you do a loop-de-loop. -loop. Yep, turn left on the highway. No, stay in loop de loop. Hey, I'm on the main highway. Where'd you say you're at? I see you. I'm following you in the uh, free cam. Okay. How far away are you? Just up the road. Okay. Oh. Yeah, so it's seriously, like, if you're from a fire, it looks like you're in the middle of the road. Hmm. Interesting. It doesn't run during the lines good enough. You coming? Yep. Okay. Working my gears, pushing my pedals, shifting my gears, pushing my pedals. You're taking the exit, right? Yep. Okay. I'm stepping in to fill up on gas right quick. All right. Might as well see if you need some too, right? Uh, I'm good. I'm good. 32 gallons. <clears throat> Come on, what is your problem? Alright, we want to go back on the interstate or are we taking this other road? Uh, we can go back on the interstate. It'd be quicker. Alright. How's it going there, truckers? Happy trucking to you. Oh, somebody could get hit. I think he fucked up on his exit. 
<laughs> yeah, he did. He's trying to take this one. Two lanes over. It's even funnier, this thing's better at hauling heavy loads than it is regular trailers. Yeah. But uh, so we got set the, it set for heavy loads and long haul. So, it's made for more power at a slower speed. So. far ahead of me. Remember, I can only go 65, dude. Me too. Oh, well, then we're both probably hammering it. That's probably why. Oh, I almost flipped it. Nice. Wow, this totally didn't sound boring at all. What's up? It's like, no talk all, or sorry, I'll talk, no play. <laughs> and I'll just throw in my Spotify. You know, one thing I don't get is, you know, I understand, but it's like, why don't they have, like, the normal cars on, too, you know? So, I mean, it creates some challenge, you know? I mean, why is it just barren freaking land? At least with vehicles in here, if there's, like, ten people in this server, you'd still feel like there's someone in here. Unlike, you know, some heartless abyss. A road. <laughs> Am I wrong though? No. Some people have uh some people have mentioned them putting uh traffic in here. But I just don't know how it would work with some people that play this game how some of them just don't care and they're reckless, you know, like you'd be smashing in everybody and causing, you know, havoc and well, if they're gonna do that, they're gonna do it anyway. They'll just have more of a chance, but they're gonna do it either way. And that's usually what it gets banned for.
Unless you know any other VTC or any other multiplayer game for this, I'm pretty sure that'll be the end of your multiplayer days. Mm. Right. Plus, those are little tiny kids anyway. They're like 12 year olds. Maybe 15 if you're very lucky. So, you shouldn't even be playing this anyway. Wow, I totally sound like an old person. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I want to sound like you. I mean, <clears throat> older person. <laughs> Ow. Are you kidding me? What? Freaking to- mm. Freaking truck took a jolt to the right. Literally right into a fucking tree. Fucking bullshit. 90% of my trucks fudged. Why did you do something? Why did you do right. such where's a thing? The near, where's the nearest town? How far away? Uh, nearest town. Uh, you're smack dab in the middle of Pendleton in uh, Ontario. But you're closer to Pendleton. But, uh, if you do, uh, Y forward slash F I X, enter, you'll be able to fix your truck. Wait, alright, all right, so Y, what? Y mm -hmm. forward slash. So, like, if you held shift and hit the, the question mark, but don't do that, hit that same key with the slash on it. And then spell out fix, F I X, enter, it'll automatically fix your truck. Alright, it freaking pies me. Hold on a minute. Well, I can see you. I'm stepped in. I think my game froze. Yeah. <sighs> Hey, where am I sitting on your screen? In the middle of the road. Yeah, okay, so it crashed me right same spot where it's showing. Okay. Alright, did they disappear already? Not yet. Alright, well, let's see how long it takes. I'm interested. Oh, there you go. Now you're gone. I'm already loading back in. Well, not that section of it, but into the game itself. Uh, fourteen hundred miles. Two hundred and two players. On. Uh, yep. Hey, no going to sleep. None. Not allowed. <laughs> I will come over there and run your ass over. <laughs> come on. Log back in, baby. There we go. Back where I am. Alright, so let's see. Y. F I X. And no. Huh? 
All right, so press Y. Yep. Hit the question mark. But you don't you don't actually use the question mark. You use the forward slash on that same key. Okay, so chef forward slash. What's next? And then you spell out the word fix. F I X. That's Yeah, no. Just put it in chat, literally. Okay, I don't see you back in the game yet. It shows me in here. I don't see you. That's weird. Yeah, it didn't show you anywhere near me. I'm in the same spot. <laughs> yes, yeah, so oh my. Hold on. Alright, where am I on the map? Alright, I'm just past the scale. Just past the corner. The scale. And the 84. Okay. Over. Alright, so I'm close to the truck stop with the repair and all that. I'll meet you there. That's. Okay, okay. that's probably why I can't see you because when you. when the game crashed on my side, you kept going. Yep, probably. Yeah, definitely need to get this truck fixed. Holy crap. Alright. I've been registering past 13th gear right now. Alright, so I pulled off on the highway, and I'm next to a big truck stop with a nope. repair station, but you're nope. not there. No, I'm still on my way. Okay. It's not letting me, come on, it's not letting me go past 13th gear, so I'm sitting around 45 miles an hour. It's going to take me a minute. Alright. And of course, you know the normal truck thing where it cuts out about 6 million times. Alright, this is what I'm going to do. Um... How come it says you're not online? That is really weird. Oh, I put mine on Z. Like my only friend here, so you're have to talk to me. There you are. Well, no, I was going to send you a message, and I, I don't see you. You can still send it. Don't worry. All right, I'll pop it on in a minute. Hold on. I'm pulling down in the truck stop now. Yeah, yeah, GPS. I know you don't want me to go this way. Suck it up and deal with it. Uh, 
I like this guy. What guy? I'm a freaking report. Brilliant. What's up? Said like this guy would look good on the report. <laughs> so literally, I'm right here, but I got an F7 at. No, wait, no, maybe not. Oh, it took 90 tries to start the truck. Yeah, so far as your uh, player tag goes, if you uh, if you do your tab key and then you right click your mouse, so you have control of your mouse, and then if you go over to your radar where you see everybody around you, go to your uh, your little yellow gear at the bottom of that window. It says settings. If you click that, All right, hold on, give me a minute. I'm already here. Might as well do it while I'm here. Yeah, I know about the gear I uh, gear icon. Okay, and then that brings up your uh, a settings window under your yeah. under your general tab. If yeah. you uh, if you scroll down or look down where it says player tag, and then go to the right, it's got a blank bubble. Yeah, yeah, player tag. What do you want? What, what do you need? Yeah, we uh, we have American Outlaws in there. So you type it out. So it's American space outlaws, and the O is a zero, not an actual O. It's a zero. Ah, copyright purposes. Yeah, that's true. And then you then you have a color at the very end. If you click the color, and you try to have that almost the same color as what the truck is, the lime green or minty green. All right. And then once you have all that situated, all you gotta do is click apply. And then it should pop up next to your name on the radar. And then to get out of that, all you have to do is hit OK after you after you click Apply. There you go. Beautiful. There you go. You got it. Alright. Hey, look at that. I'm online. Amazing, isn't it? Then you do what? You, you click Z. Who? Uh, you said something about the Z button if you're if you're online. No. Oh yeah, no, it's called invisible. So basically, you can do whatever you want without an, and it'll show that you're offline. Okay. That's weird. What? What's weird? What happened? You crash again? No. Something stupid. Don't worry about it. I fixed it.
<sighs> oh, at least we've got a couple miles in. What's up? I said that we got a couple miles in at least. <laughs> yeah, more less than I thought we would by now. Yeah, right. It's alright. We'll yeah. we'll get Being there. Happy. It means it means means you get to spend more wonderful time with me. I feel so special. Exactly. And now that and then now that we know that we're only across the bridge, we can we could always set up a play date, you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oof. Somebody, you come all the way, meet me at Syracuse, eh? <laughs> Might be like a four-hour drive. Syracuse or or Lake George. Uh, you know, we could always go to Las Vegas. Go gambling. <laughs> <laughs> Miami Beach. Oh my god, this sounds beautiful right now. See, like, Florida's all good and whatnot, but, like, all the hurricanes and crap they get, you know? Yeah. Miami, you get beauty and, you know, no hurricanes. Or at least that I know of no hurricanes. Right. It's like beauty without the destruction coming after it. Yeah. Let say that uh, it's beautiful down there. I'd like to go someday. Well, my aunt and uncle have gone. Usually every like two or three years they'll go to Virginia Beach. They said they like it down there. I'm like, well, you know, I work at a college, so I know what that kind of looks like. But, you know, I'll go down there sometime over the summer, see if I can see a little bit more. And just, you know, just saying. There are certain perks, so. Yeah. Luckily, I'm still young enough. It's funny because I got I got a good friend that I work with. I think he's like 48, 49, and uh, he's like, yeah, some. Hey there, like Chizo. What's going on, man? Long time no see. Yeah, and he's like, you know, some of the some of the younger girls like the older guys. I'm like, dude, not like you know. 48 49 year olds uh sorry no it's uh that's wishful thinking there little bud you know right i never switch mine from nine what's going what's going what's going 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 on it's going Yeah, I'm on channel 19. Yeah. Well, I'm sort of going 50 miles down the road. I'm you know, not going to reach up and change it. If this is real life, I probably could, but like all this shit entails to do it here. I'd probably get in a crash before I end up even changing it to one channel. That was Chizo back there. He was one of uh, Chizo. Ch was uh, one of Scotty's old drivers. No, oh, he's in here watching. No, no. Um, Chizo, um, yeah. one one of the guys that drove by us. He used to drive with Scotty. That's not. Or did he just like screw this and left? I don't know. I don't know what the deal was. Probably pissed him off somehow. It's usually how it works. Yep. Usually.
1,467 miles. Yep. Long ass night. It takes about what? An hour and a half real time? Um, well, the wife did have it figured out. It was so many minutes per mile. So it take oh, it would take it's gonna it will take us you know maybe like f forty minutes real time to get this load done. Nice. I mean, we've already got two hours and 40 minutes into this stream. Just call the long stream, you'll be good to go. It's already 4 1 before they even watch it. I don't know, I've watched YouTubers that, like, they'll go four or five hours. I guess as long as you keep it interesting, they'll watch. Just when it gets dull and boring. Oh, I, uh, I definitely try to keep it, you know, upbeat, yeah. but it's not yeah. always very easy. With uh, with all the Russians talking in your head. <laughs> right. I say that one was actually pretty good. I like that one. Yeah, when you get a couple people on here, it's uh, a little more fun. You get to make some conversation. Alright. I mean, when I first got on MP, I only had uh, me and... Uh, let see, me and Blue Player and uh, Lazy King... They were one of my, they were two of my good drivers. Um, of course, that was back when it was cowboy trucking, so. Right. Um, God, I'm so thinking I still have a long load, swinging it way too wide. Ooh, I caught that one. <laughs> As you say, I can see it on the map, you know you're on the other side of the road. Oh no, I felt it I felt it tip over and then I whipped the steering wheel and made it fall back down. Oh brilliant. How'd that work out for ya? Good, I'm still on my wheels. For now. For now. Yeah, for now, that's right. The wife must be passed out. Sharp turn. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be sharper for you because you got a heavier load. That's the downside of the bigger loads. Flip a lot easier. I took those corners easy as hell, not a problem. If I still had that long, heavy load, dude, I would have almost flipped over a couple times. Oh, I'm sure. Ironically, in real life, the heavier it is, the less chance. Especially being like a low boy like that, you have to really mess with that to get to flip over. It's like opposite physics here. Heavier loaded is the easier it is. Fully epic, uh, opposite physics. Oh. 
Ah, eso para no dejar. Don't do it, dude. Wow, I had to slow down for him. That sent me back a couple gears. Yep. Remember last time you tried that? Here, I'll drop back so you can get back in the right lane. There you go. Yapa, 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 yo, yo, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Goodbye. Te mando un beso en el chiquitriqui. I don't know about you, dude, but once I got it into the gear I wanted in, and I know it's going to be a long straight haul, and, you know, no turnoffs or not, and I just throw cruise control on. Yeah, I do same. I do the same, I do the same. Hmm. Real life truckers do it all the time, man. I mean, you got all of them hundreds of thousand miles to go, you know? I'm about ready to stay on the gas pedal the whole entire time. Right. Yeah, I'll definitely have to have your help. With the uh, delay on the stream, figure out what I've got figured out. Yeah. Either that or I'll have to uh, uninstall everything and uh, reconfigure everything, put everything back in. Maybe let the computer tell me what it needs instead of what I want it to do. Right. God, you know how much of a pain in the ass it's going to be, too? Oh, I know. I know, but I've done it. Uh, I've done it quite a few times, so I know exactly what I've got for buttons and such. All right, we got a truck up here on the left hand side somewhere. Oh, off the road. So watch yourself. Sitting off in the grass as you come out of town. Yeah, totally couldn't tell at all. <laughs> Big ass white thing. Okay, I'm on nobody. You can make up the hill. Working on it. I have faith in you. Uh, I had a shift down. Do you need me to push you up the hill? Oh, they do that. You should got like three or four dump trucks sitting in the front to help slow down, and a couple on the back to help push up hills. That's usually for the bigger loads, though, like turbines. Yeah. 
I had one come through one time. It was the most stupidest thing they could have done. They took back roads back here. Now, mind you, these back roads are like half of what's on what we're driving on right now. So it's like, do you expect to take something that's three trailers long and low boy through that small amount and expect, you know, not to be stuck in a ditch? <laughs> we're so majorly delayed because that's like, well, no, probably should have stuck to the highway, you know, would have been, you know, a little bit smarter there. It's a small enough load height-wise that they could have made it under the overpasses with no problem. Hmm. Just they followed the GPS straight out, which took them through back roads. Because they weren't smart enough now how to put it on uh, truck mode instead of vehicle mode. Yeah, I got a long ways to go. We might, we might be able to do this by two thirty. Yeehaw, 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 yeehaw. Off the road I go. A little bit of four wheeling. Oh, we got a sharp turn up ahead. And another sharp turn up ahead. And then we have the exit up ahead. So we'll see what a half an hour brings us.
Oh, we got exits for Tonopa, and we got exits for Jackpot and Eli coming up. Did I lose you back there somewhere? Hey, did I lose you back there somewhere? Oh shit, I forgot to put my mic up. Yeah, I had to drop her down to like fourth gear. Skip, well, what happens? I accidentally skipped the gear. And then with that steep incline to get on the highway, I freaking had to keep it in fourth gear, otherwise, I would have bogged down so far it would have stalled out. Mic check, one, two, one, two. <laughs> I don't think there's anybody else around but us. Not that I'm seeing. Nope. They're probably on the five. They're probably in Phoenix, they're probably in Las Vegas, Los Angeles. Um, All the popular hits. Yeah. Yep. Alright, just see you in the open road every once in a while, you know? Alright, we got more exits coming up. So we have Elko, Jackpot, Eli. So our next exit is... Elko, and then the following two are Jackpot and Eli. Oh, we got Cotton Candle, whoever Cotton Candle is. Uh, you're forgetting, I'm a waste behind you, dude. I don't even see the exits yet. Hey there, trucker, how's it going? What says good? Oh, all them trucks that we passed earlier. Yeah. That's Sam. Um... Right. I hate these freaking 45 zones. They're shit. They're nothing but waste your time. Literally.
damn it. Fucking hate these speed zone shit. Right. It pisses me off. It's like, why would. If you're on the main highway and it's 65 zone, why the hell would you back down to 45? There ain't no way in hell you do that. Not realistically. No. They need to fix their boxes. Keep them off the main highways. And they probably have them as circles. Which dips onto the highway a little bit. Oh, let's see, you got 930 miles, and it is 2.08 a.m. Eastern Time. It's 11 o'clock p.m. in-game. 9.31 p.m. in mine. Interesting. Not completely synced up yet, obviously. You say real time is is eight o'clock a.m. No, uh, real time is two o nine a.m. Alexa, what time is that? Same time zone then. <laughs> time is messing with you. Same time though. And then the time, uh, it's 11.36 p.m. in-game. Right, so it's 10.36, so we're about an hour off. But it's too... Oh, yours, yours probably kept going because of my game crash, so my time stopped. It's why I'm an hour behind you. You just kept going. Maybe. Because <laughs> we are that horribly synced. <laughs> it would have kicked one of us out. We just may make it in a half an hour. We'll see. Uh, my next fuel station, I'm gonna have to stop and get gas. There's one right in front of me. Are you behind me or are you in front of me? I'm in front of you. 
<laughs> yeah, we just passed by one. Yeah. I didn't see it in time. What do you mean? It's a big block. How can you not see a big block? I weren't paying attention. Bad. Bad boy. I'm interested if it's that late that if you got any viewers left online right now. It might just be that late. Slash early. I don't know, my phone's dead so I can't even see who's watching. If anybody is watching. And I gotta call my phone to find out where it is. <laughs> it's smart, right? Big black dog. Okay. You got one, man. Hey there, big black dog. How's it going, sir? You know, it could be easy, though. I mean, just get like a... Uh, like a... 20 inch for like what 50 bucks these days just hook it up as a second screen and and what you can do is do split mode so it goes so you can put the stream on one and still be trucking on the other one so it's what most of the youtubers do oh yeah I've so got I have um I have two screens one's for the game and one's for Discord and my OBS, so I can watch my stream. But I don't have uh, Streamlabs. Streamlabs has the built-in chat, so I can see who's watching and who's talking. Um, I use right. the OBS Classic, so I can't watch. It doesn't show me who's in there and who's talking. I take you can't switch over to Streamlabs. I can, but it takes more resources out of my computer to to run it. What are you running, may I ask? Um, computer, but it's a AMD Radeon, um, AMD Radeon, or whatever it is. Radeon, yeah. It's a cheap processor, but I obviously can't just go in there and rip it out of the motherboard and put a new one in, because <laughs> I, uh, I don't have the brains for that kind of thing. And my stream. I would, say, I would say I could walk you through it, but you know, you can't quite talk through it while you're ripping it apart at the same time. Yeah. Just simple programming. Yeah, because I get. Uh... I'm getting like three point something, four point something on my CPU right now with OBS. Um, over on Streamlabs, I get about ten, fifteen point uh, frames per second over there on my CPU. So. Oh, I'm going around the town. Damn, I wanted to go through town. Oh well. Too late now. Not paying it <sighs> not paying attention. About half tank right now. I'm less than I'm less than half tank. Way less than half tank. Uh see I got Las Vegas fifteen and Cheyenne exits. I wish when you take it. In. Oh, I'm staying straight, so I'm going towards Las Vegas right now. Okay. And I got oncoming yes. traffic. Stop in LA. Drive gas. No, 
Going right by Salt Lake City. I'm going to Vegas area. Merge in. I think I'm going to pull right, off head here. straight to LA. I'll meet you there. Because obviously we both have to get gas. Uh, do go the wrong direction? I did. Eight hundred and forty-eight miles left. Shit. Missed the exit. Your bad luck's wearing off on me. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright. I'll wait up here on the bridge for ya. I got enough that I can get to the next gas station or two. I'm down here in town. Uh, town. I'm right here in Salt Lake City. You're in Salt Lake? Salt Lake. Yeah, I'm in Salt Lake. Yep, same here. I'm waiting right past the city. Over on the 15. Hey, we're in Salt Lake, are you? Going to, uh, I'm over by the headquarters, but I'm going to the big truck stop for fuel. Yep, let me see what you're talking about. I got you. Just down the, just down the road from the, uh, headquarters. Yeah, I got you. I'm at, uh, what is this place? Um. I'm at the gallon. I think that's what it's called. The gallon. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, sh I know where you are. Yeah, I'm, across, I'm at the gallon right now. Pulling out. And then you go down the street uh, from the gas station. Uh, you come to the your, uh, your the Salt Lake City garage headquarters. Yeah. So that's where you are? That's where I was. Oh, okay. Getting back on the road. Wait for you to hit the 15. I'm on the... Uh, I'm on the... Uh, oh my goodness. I can't read the sign yet. Don't worry about it. I think I know exactly right where you are. The 172.
I'm going by eight hundred dollars. Hi, nice. Yeah, you're, you're sitting within my area. Of, uh, coming up, I'm coming up on the 15 now. Oof. Okay, I was wrong where you. I guess. Damn. Turning on to the 15. Alright, I'm back on the 15 now. Go to next town, uh, prove some fuck. Don't give a shit, Provo. Yeah. 800 north? Yeah. Move it right before Provo. Right before it turn off for it. Alright, I see you. You can get moving. I'm right here behind you. And then you gotta exit up here on the right. Oh. Uh, Spanish Fork and Price. Wasn't well, that a weird intersection right there? Wow, that was funky. What? It was almost like they just threw that intersection in just to give it a road. Yeah. Pretty much. Well, the other side of the road, it goes straight. And then where you cross it, they put a big old corner in with uh, intersection lights. Like. It was just weird. Moving and grooving, baby. Yeah, I'm moving 50 miles an hour. Oh, well, I'm, yeah, you got the heavier load. I was gonna say, I'm pushing like 65. Uh, yeah, heavier load. I still got the load I started off with. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, heavier load. There we go. Now I'm picking up speed.
oncoming trucks. Swifty. You can take these corners. Think you think you got what it takes. <laughs> Well, I guess we're not going to make it for the half an hour. It's 2.30. So 146 miles left. I got 600. Sorry, 14. You got Slowly getting closer. <laughs> it's like crawling on your knees trying to get to the front door. Yep. Well, at least we've got our miles in for the month. Yeah, for sure. No, oh, this is going to be a sharp left corner. Yeah. I slowed down a lot on that one. You know, I'm pushing like 45. <laughs> Can't believe I made it through them that fast. Oh, 
I felt myself tipping at the top, so I knew I was gonna flip. I had to slow down. Mm. Yeah, pretty slow down usually. Six hundred and forty nine. Oh, we gotta stop down here and take a right. This is an exit. I'm sure taking a left. I gotta go get gas. Alright, uh... I'll pull over down here. Maybe before I uh, come on and do a stream tomorrow, whenever I decide to get in, um, stream labs and reinstall them.
getting there. 540 miles. Yeah, I was a bit of ways back there.
Ugh. Well, game crash, so hooray. Yeah. Yeah. So I think this stage I'll finish it later on today. You should definitely, you know what you gotta do. Alright, later man. Alright, later on.